Hi there, this is the DIY Doctor and today I will be showing you how to replace a light pendant. Once you know how a ceiling light is wired, it is very easy to replace a damaged light pendant or replace the pendant with any other light. This diagram shows how a ceiling rose is wired. In the diagram, three terminals are shown. The blue wire goes to the right neutral terminal the red wires go to the middle live terminal and the brown live wire from the light pendant goes to the left terminal. The diagram shows a loop in loop out configuration. Cable A loops into the ceiling rows from either the fuse board or another light. Cable B loops out of the ceiling rows to the next light fitting. Cable C is the switch live cable. The red cable going to terminal 3 is the live cable to the switch. When the switch is turned on, the current flows down the red wire to terminal 2. As the connector block is now live, the current will also flow down the brown wire onto terminal 1 and the light will come on. The only wires you need to consider when replacing a light pendant are the blue and brown wires connected to terminals 1 and 8. If you wish to change the light to a bespoke light, then some light fittings can accommodate the ceiling rows, and this can be left in place. If this is possible, then you only have to disconnect the pendant and connect the switch live and neutral from the new light to terminals 1 and 8. If this is not possible to keep the ceiling rows in place, then you will have to use appropriate termination blocks and connect the wires and terminals 3, 4 and 5 together. All neutral wires go together in another terminal block and the wires in terminal 1 and 2 will go together. 